this video, we'll explore the features of MicroMesh and how to use it effectively. The MicroMesh replaces individual polygons of a 3D object with a different detailed 3D model. You can imagine it like this. Here we have a cube, and this cube has six polygonal faces. Using the MicroMesh, we indicate that these surfaces should be replaced by our selected 3D model. In other words, the individual polygons effectively appear as distinct visual instances of the selected 3D model. This approach allows us to easily create highly polygonal and detailed objects in a few steps. We can find the MicroMesh function in the Geometry subpalette of the Tool menu, located under the Modified Topology section. By pressing the MicroMesh button, we can easily select our instance object. Up here, we have prepared a test geometry for demonstration purposes. Essentially, we can use any custom geometry for the MicroMesh process. We click the MicroMesh button and then carefully select our instance object. A small notification window now displays. This indicates that we can only view our MicroMesh when working in the best preview render mode. If we press the BPR button up here now, we quickly notice that nothing happens. To show the MicroMesh in the viewport, we need to navigate to the render palette up here. And in the render settings, we enable the MicroMesh option. And now the BPR displays the correct result. Our selected object is displayed as a representative for the individual polygons. Consequently, if we divide our object down, the instances will become smaller as the polygons also get smaller. To align our instance 3D object, we can either rotate it using the Align Edge button option here, or we enter the instance, and we change the orientation of the object as needed. After aligning, simply reload the object in the MicroMesh again. As we have already learned, we can create uniform polygons by using the Z-Remesher. Let's give it a try and test it out. We'll navigate to the Z-Remesher section and set the Adaptive Size slider to 0. Next, we will reload our instance object into the MicroMesh again. If we are fully satisfied with the final result, we click on BPR to Geo up here to convert our MicroMesh into a PolyMesh. Now it can be edited just like we are accustomed to doing. In the next video, we will explore FiberMesh, 